Welcome back to I Can Science That. This channel is all about intellectual honesty and integrity, and I would like to make some corrections to a previous video, the one about eight inches per mile squared. I'll throw a link up in the thing, and it'll be down in the doobly-doo. That video already contains a pinned comment by Truth Nerds that contains these corrections. I actually do have a typo on the screen in some of the math that didn't affect any of the results that I showed in the graph but there is an error in there and thank you truth nerds for catching that more important i really wanted to highlight this part of truth nerds comment where he points out that the eight inches per mile squared approximation isn't an approximation at all if you use for the distance the cord length method if you have ever said that the eight inches per mile squared approximation is only accurate over short distances. If you continue to say that after watching my previous video, this video is for you. We are talking about conversations about whether the Earth is flat, whether the Earth is a globe. We are talking about whether objects should be hidden by the curvature. Are we talking about across Lake Michigan, across Lake Pontchartrain? Are we talking about the distance from Malibu out to San Jacinto? These are the distances that we are talking about. In the previous video, I showed that this approximation is accurate out past a thousand miles, which is well beyond anything that is going to come up in discussions of flat earth observations. Here is the chart that I showed in the previous video, and I take the distance out to 3,500 miles, and I show at that distance an error of 6.7%. That's not exactly a large error. If you watched the previous video, you know that I showed four different ways of calculating the drop with distance, depending on what you mean by distance. Let's take a closer look at this graph. The red line is the horizontal length method. My preferred method was the arc length, which is shown here in blue. Comparing that with the eight inches per mile squared curve just above is remarkably close. The eight inches per mile orange line lies between the extremes. Where is cord length on this graph? It's the green line and you cannot see it. The orange line and the green line line up so perfect that you can't even see it. So if you're not happy that a thousand miles is still a short distance in your book, take a look here. I've taken it all the way out to 7,900 miles, it's off by 0.03%. The reason is because the number eight we use in eight inches is in fact rounded off a little bit. Otherwise, that is the exact correct equation throughout the curve, all the way out to the full diameter of the earth. Past that point, cord length becomes meaningless uh, as you just go back up the other side. If, like this comment here, you are out there somewhere saying, the eight inches per mile squared is an approximation that's only good over short distances. I'm calling on you right now, go out there and make the correction. So if you're out there saying that formula is not right, that formula is a parabola, the formula is a parabola, but that doesn't mean the formula is wrong. If you use cord length for your distance, the formula for drop rate is a parabola. Here's the derivation right here. Finally, I have seen this comment before that the eight inches per mile squared comes from the small angle approximation. You could say that, but as Truth Nerds just pointed out, there's a derivation of it where it comes from that being the exact form. If you're gonna use the arc length method, then the small angle approximation will be your friend there. AB Science made a video where he shows this for the horizontal distance method, but where this is incorrect is in the assumption that you must use the small angle approximation if you use for your distance measurement the cord length, then no approximation is required and the curve stays accurate all the way around. To summarize, eight inches per mile squared is the exact formula for the drop rate if you're feeding in cord length for the distance. If you're measuring your distance in some other way, the approximation remains extremely accurate over hundreds and even thousands of miles so if you're out there somewhere in the comments saying this only works over short distances, it's time for a correction. If you say that's not right, that's a parabola, it's time for a correction. The correct formula is in fact a parabola and that approximation is dead on. So please get on out there with those corrections. 
When you post those corrections, wherever they are, toss a link down there. If YouTube gives you trouble, shoot me an email and I will paste the link for you. Let's make a collection of links showing the corrections that we've made. Let's show how we are the group that maintains intellectual honesty. This isn't about winning a debate. This is about having the correct information and sharing the correct information.